Alright, hi everyone, I'm Lightwave Val. Welcome to the first episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's been a long time coming. Uh, Rockstar pushed this game back several times. They brought it forward to before Christmas. We got it now. So excited to play this game. I'm going to start with a few thank yous. Thank you uh, to my subscribers and my viewers and watchers. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate it on my channel. Um, also a thank you to a couple of my colleagues who got me this game for my birthday pre-ordered. I'm uh, really, really thankful for that. Uh, if I mean, you know who you are. If you're watching, thank you so much. But this is going to be... Um, I'm going to do a little bit of talking before we jump into the game. Because I don't know what opportunity I'm going to get as we move into the story and things. But this is going to be a first of a long play for Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, well, I'm going to take you through the whole game as I did with um, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Where I posted an episode for every mission of the game and took you through the entire thing. So we'll see how we get on with uh, with this one. I've got a pre-order bonus already activated through my Xbox account. I'm playing this on Xbox One. Uh, that's going to give me the Warhorse and the Outlaw Survival Kit apparently. So uh, as long as I remember we'll equip those and see what those look like. Uh, something else that uh, I thought I should mention for anyone that's thinking about getting this game I mentioned I've got this on Xbox. <clears throat> Excuse me, the game comes with two discs. It takes about 95 gigabytes of space to install, and it took me almost two hours um, to get this copied and installed before I could play it. So just be aware of that. If you need to clear space out on your Xbox before you get this game, do that, uh, and then you can jump on in. The other thing that came with my copy of the game, this is only the standard edition, but it comes with a paper map which is quite nice, you unfold it out, and on one side it has New Austin, a map of New Austin, which for anyone who played the original game, that was the location of that, so you've got uh, Hennigan's Stead, Armadillo, Chola Springs, uh, Tumbleweed, Gaptooth Ridge, Rio Bravo, familiar to people who played the first game, I'm sure. Um, it leads out to the west to Thieves Landing, and then if you turn over, hear me fiddling with that, it goes out to the west into West Elizabeth, where you find Blackwater. Um, but the other side of this map is for New Hanover, which shows the land further out to the west. So, uh, yeah, that's presumably the setting for this game. I don't know uh, whether we'll be playing in the old New Austin space as well. Um, but yeah, this is going to be is going to be an awesome game. The other thing is um, when you take all the other stuff out of the little box that the game comes in it does mention that there is a companion app for um, mobiles and tablet devices uh, which you can download from app stores it's the official I think it's called RDR2 companion if you want to download that that will give you access to uh, a map interactive map on your device which could be kind of handy um, as well as potentially some other things so I'm going to take a look at that at some point but <clears throat> yeah, I think we will jump into the game. I'm going to give you guys a chance. I've enabled the subtitles and things, so we're going to play through the story. If it's anything like the first one, the characters and the story for this game should be amazing. So let's jump in. Uh, I'm going to try and be quiet for you to be able to listen to and see what's going on. And uh, we'll start here, episode one. Let's jump in the game. Nice transitions. I like that. This is it. Presumably loading up the game. We've got some of the uh, scenery here from uh, areas of the landscape that we're going to be playing in. A lot of snow, a lot of hills, mountains. But I remember the first game. I mean, this one's going to be an advancement in graphics. The first game looked good for its time. It was brilliant. I really appreciated the lip sync for the characters and the storyline and plotline uh, was quite immersive. If you haven't played the first game, go and pick it up. It's definitely worth playing.
Got a little six shooter loading logo down in the bottom right. It's doing something. As I said, this is a huge install. All right, by 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. Uh -huh. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Love the music. Yeah, the music in the first game was epic. They did some really clever things. I will try and remember to link to a video about it uh, in this. Red Dead Redemption 2, baby! Alright. Okay, I didn't see what just popped up in the corner there. Skip. Skip with that. We're not skipping. We're not going to skip anything. says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! All right. I like the start to a movie. This is uh, this is looking good. I've just connected the app. That is. Uh... Hopefully going to share the map with me, Coulter. Okay. Bring him in here! Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food, everybody. We're safe. 
Now, there ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. All right. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. Yeah, well, that slowed him. <laughs> he stopped. Uh, nice and easy over the bridge. All right. Hold eight. Match speed. Hey, move up alongside me. Can't see you back there. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Left trigger to talk to Dutch. I've got uh, got the map on my app as well. I can see we're riding out of Coulter. <clears throat> Some of the uh, icons down the bottom were a little. I didn't couldn't work out immediately. It meant up. So hold up and double tap A to ri ride up and ride alongside and match speed with Dutch. Is that someone coming towards us? Firefight coming Mike. on. Gentlemen. Nope. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Uh, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a <laughs> business. Reminds me of Brett Kavanaugh's. I'm glad you're all thing. right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. 
Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Is that me and my Arthur? Double tap and hold A while pushing forward? Is that forward? To move up the formation. Coming past. Go on. <laughs> Talk to Micah. Are you sure about this? Oh, right. You're running to anybody else. That's what I can say. You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well... Don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mine in camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but it's shelter. So, this house. You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Well, are we nearly there yet? <clears throat> Goddamn this snow gets right to the bone. It made the snow look really soft. I like how you carve your own little path with your horse, look. It's nice. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Look at that snow. Jesus, that looks good. Alright, I could do with some more health. Maybe because it's cold. Let's hitch up here. Kitchen posts. I remember. Old white hitch horse. Where are the hitching posts at? Is there one right here? Oh, there is. I couldn't see it in the snow. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You two, Presumably get the one with the lamp. Out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. <laughs> Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. This one. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body food in the wagon. I hear you just... Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Alright, so weapon wheel. It's about to kick off. So I worked out that uh, icon in the bottom. It was it was left uh, analog stick it was showing. So uh, use R to select a weapon. So right analog stick. That, oh, Jesus, it's got the... Right, hang on. Hang on one second. Uh, I've got to go turn off this vibration on my uh, controller because 
don't want it disconnecting my controller. Invert look, vibration, we'll turn that off. Everything else I'm going to leave alone. Uh, yep. Back, back. All right. So, here we go. And now we've lost what we're supposed to be doing. I guess we're selecting this sidearm. All right, RB lets us switch between weapons and items. Except that we don't have any items, so we can't do that. Uh, with this one selected, what's this? Sidearm. Cattleman revolver. Uh, left and right to regular. Oh, we don't have anything else to switch between either. So, uh, it's either fists, knife, uh, but uh, it's unarmed, melee weapon, or revolver. I'm guessing we need the revolver. Alright, it's kicking off. I can't tell what the hell's happening. Oh, there we go. I don't have them! I can do some cover. Why am I moving so slow? Red threat indicator on the edge of the screen. Not the radar shows the direction of the distant enemies. Oh, nice. Pretty sure I got shot. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Retry checkpoint. Yeah, let's do that. You've got to hold it down. I see. Okay. Couldn't see what the hell was going on there. Trying to read a million things at once. Right. Press left analog Excuse up me. to peek out cover. That's what that means. Hello? I see. Okay. Oh, well, hello, friend. Is this What's where I'm want? supposed to be? Inside the I shed. I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost oh, I see. In the storm. Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a nice right bastard here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need some There's a body food. in the wagon. He's got his guns uh, out. Just, if you just keep yourself to yourself. I think All you right. should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am. Are we allowed to fire first? Desperate. We are. It's happening. Horses, I see horses. Oh, I see there's three. I can't see anything. See what I mean? In this snow, I can barely see anything. Oh, but on the radar, you can see that. I think I need better cover. There was a guy there. Oh, there's a guy moving. We need to reload. Oh, there's one over here. He's right here. There we go, Red X, he's dead. One left. He's moving around. Alright, he's gone. Didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. We not search these corpses. The little corpses uh, show as black X's on the map there, so you can uh, go over and loot them normally. Maybe we'll do that after we get out. Let's get in there anyway. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold X near items to pick them Smells up while searching like the house. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. Classic oat cakes. Get your strength up for the ride back. Hold to open your satchel, okay. All right, so classic oat cakes. Yep, that's provisions, tonics, ingredients, materials, kit, valuables, documents, and recent stuff. Okay, this will all become a bit more evident and obvious as we get through the game. Zero dollars in the right-hand corner, top right. We've got eat the oat cakes or go back, I guess. 
eat a provision to restore some health core on the left. It's flashing at me, so I should eat that then. Mm, yummy oat cakes. A bit dry. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> anything here? Anything here? Nope. Can we do anything with this picture? Nope. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Gold pocket watch should be worth something. Maybe Take premium cigarettes. Alright, if you've seen, I'm just going to say here, if you've seen my Ghost Recon Wildland uh, video, you'll know I'm a bit of a complete finisher. I like to do everything, so I'm probably not going to leave this house until I've covered every square inch of it, but let's take a look. What was that? Satchel, uh, premium cigarette, slightly damaged stamina core, oh, slightly damages stamina core, slightly restores dead eye core. Interesting, okay. Uh, what else we got? How do we move around in here? Because we've got some other things. Uh, ah. Right, we we'll use the D-pad for that. Gems of Beauty card 10. Fairest flowers of gems and beauty. A photograph of Ilga Ulmer. No idea what that means. Gold pocket watch. A valuable gold pocket watch can be sold for cash. Good. And classic oak gates. Three of. Slightly restores health core and stamina core. Or greatly restores all horse cores. Good to know. Close drawer. Yep. I'm tidy. Why not? That was the end table. Wait, can you go up there? Oh, you can. What have we got over here? Anything? Nope. Clang, clunk. So, revolver cartridges, regular, take. Yep, I'll have those. Are they kind of slightly flashing at me? Yeah, uh, okay, stuff that's interactive flashes at you. Good, classic oat cakes. More of those. Think they're going to be good. Don't have the uh, stamina penalty that cigarettes do. Don't smoke, children. Okay, climb it down here. Why are you? Why are you doing that? Can you? Can you not do that? How do I get him up on the? What was? Ah, oh, that was take cover. Uh, that's get your get your gun out. That. What? How do What's I? Taking so long in there. I'm trying to work out how to crouch. You going to answer him or not? Because I'm still let looking around. Searching the place. Yeah, let me finish. Ah, uh, tonic. Good. Good. Is that another thing? Yep. I see another one flashing there at me. Take, take, take. And close, because we're tidy. Very nice. What else we got? Blood. Okay. Oh, I see. Right, we're walking in blood. Good to know. Did I miss something on the table? I thought Dutch took whatever was there. Probably did. Did I finish looking over here? Because... Oh, no. Oh, look at all this stuff. Sorted biscuits. Canned vegetables. Canned fruit. Oh, my God. There's loads of food here. Canned peaches. So it's uh, left analog stick press to crouch. I to remember that. Anything else down in here? Oh, yeah. More canned fruit. Come on, Arthur. Get a Shut move your on. yapping. Still busy. Just give me a minute. Searching cabinet. Is 
Take some of this stuff. More, more clothes. And there was another one down there as well. There's something. Wasn't there something shining at me? No, maybe not. Has it just got light? Was that the lantern? Hospital lantern. Okay, I think we're done. Right, good. Can we go now? Let's walk on out. Oh, side door. Not the door I came in. What was it, A to run a bit? There we go. Can we search these bodies yet? Now, Mike has brought the horses to the house. Where the, where the bodies gone? They're down here. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. See what we missed. Sure. The barn, which is over in this direction. There's going to be someone in the barn, right? I can hear that music. What was that? Compass expand off radar. Press down. Oh, I see. Investigate the barn. Okay, cool. Something's going to happen in it. Yep. What's going on? Now this guy just killed me. Oh, oh, did he now? Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what call. they're doing here. And where Comb is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Beat him or question him? Where's Try Comb, beat? O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Let's try a question. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, you're in for well, beating. I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Yeah. Oh. I'm busy. <laughs> Beat him, choke him, or spare him. Now, this is a point in the game Lord where... Else. Please. Please, spare me. I promise you, you won't see me again. Please. This game is an 18. You'll never see me again. You get to choose whether you're going to be good or bad. We're going to spare him, or we're going to beat him. Or choke him. I'm going to spare him. I might regret it. But where's my gun? Oh, it's on the map there. Where's my hat? Behind me. Why is it a different button to pick up my hat? But I was just gonna say. Leave a comment down below how you want me to play this. Do you want me to play this, uh... Good or bad? So we're going to focus on one and aim towards that as a goal for the whole game. Bad is going to be more difficult, because in the first game, you ended up with the lore um, after you a lot more. But anyway, what we got here? Leave me a comment down below, let me know. Calm the horse. X to calm the horse. It's okay. Boy. There are a lot of controls. I got me a horse. Lead the horse to the hitching post. Alrighty, Roo. Can we run at the same time? Apparently not. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. Oh, he will. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. 
Because why, right? Yeah, white hit horse. Okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come oh, on. Like you dick, Micah. Oh. <laughs> you okay, Miss? They came three days ago. And Father's been me. <laughs> okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. If there's any consolation, we shot the shit out Come of them. Come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, Miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. What a waste. Well, that was a good start. Nice little intro to the game. I died, but hey, somebody's coming. Get a hang of those controls. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. He fucked up for everyone else. Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. <laughs> Bill Williamson. William Williamson, really? All right, I like it. I like it. Could do with some better weather. I'd like to see what the hell's going on, but very nice. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur. How you doing? Mm, peachy. Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. <sighs> 
Yeah, I'm a nice This way. Guy. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. Weather he still leave. sucks. Not like that. <laughs> uh, wouldn't be the first time. All right. I think we'll go and look for John in the next uh, next episode, guys. I'm going to uh, cut it here. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you've enjoyed this. Stick with me for the long play. Hope you enjoy those. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.